Welcome to the Mason Dixon line of scrimmage NCAA tournament breakdown. I'm Cole Drone. I've got Jonathan Holder right here with me. Uh, we're going to go through each bracket, uh, break these down the best that we can. Uh, we're going to give you who we think might end up at the Final Four in Dallas with the best ch chance to cut the nets down this year. Uh, we're going to give you some upset specials, uh, maybe a potential dark horse who might run through the bracket. Um, and again, we're going to get started here in the East, and Jonathan's going to get started here. All right. The number one seed, Virginia, taking on Coastal Carolina. I'm taking the number one seed, uh, Memphis, George Washington. I like the Memphis Tigers in that matchup. I'm taking Harvard over Cincinnati in the 12-5. I like that 12-5 upset. I'm going with it again. Michigan State over Delaware. Michigan State's playing as good as anybody in the country. I'm taking the 11 seed, Providence, over my UNC Tar Heels. I hate to do it, but... Guard play is really important in the tournament. Tar Heels aren't getting it right now. Iowa State over North Carolina Central. Iowa State won the Big 12. I like how they're playing. UConn over St. Joe's. And Villanova over Milwaukee to round out the first round. Moving on to the second round, Virginia and the Memphis Tigers. I like the way Virginia's playing defense. I like them to move to the Sweet 16. Uh, Michigan State over Harvard. And that matchup. Iowa State over Providence, and then I like UConn to upset Villanova in the second round. Uh, take us to the Sweet 16, Virginia and Michigan State. This is a really good matchup that I'm looking forward to seeing if it plays out that way. A lot of analysts are taking Michigan State to win it all. I'm stopping here, and I'm taking Virginia and their defense to win that matchup and advance to the lead eight. I like Iowa State to defeat UConn in the Sweet 16. I have Virginia and Iowa State in the Elite Eight, and I like the Virginia Cavaliers to advance to the Final Four to take on Florida um, in that matchup. Cole, what do you have? Uh, in the 1-16 matchup, again, no 16's ever beat a 1, so uh, I've got Virginia winning this one easily. Uh, number 8, 9 seed. Uh, Memphis against George Washington. Uh, I'm like you. I like the Tigers in this one. I think Memphis too athletic, and I think they'll advance. Uh, between Cincinnati and Harvard, 5-12 matchup. A lot of people are saying Harvard has uh, a senior laden team uh, with a chance to upset Cincinnati. Uh, probably true, but I'm probably going to go with the talent here and say Cincinnati will advance. They've had a pretty good season here. Uh, Michigan State, Delaware, like you said, Michigan State's playing as well as anybody right now, so I've got Michigan State advancing here. And we'll take North Carolina over Providence. Uh, I think uh, the Tar Heels and their guard play will uh, eventually – Went out in this one uh, between Iowa State and uh, North Carolina Central. I think Iowa State, I think they're playing really well right now, so I think they'll advance here. Connecticut and St. Joseph's, the 7 10 matchup. I've got Connecticut uh, winning this one. And the 2 seed Villanova, I've got them beating the 15 seed Milwaukee. Uh, moving on to the next round, I've got Virginia beating Memphis. I think their uh, defense is just going to be too tough for the Tigers. Uh, and I think. Uh, offensively, they, they're just kind of a well-oiled machine when it comes to that. Uh, with Cincinnati and Michigan State, uh, Michigan State and Tom Izzo, he's just a tournament coach. He knows how to win, and he, he gets his players ready to go. So I think Michigan State's going to win this one. Uh, next round with North Carolina and Iowa State. Uh, I think North Carolina's talented, but I think Iowa State right now is playing as well as anybody. Uh maybe even in the country. So I've got Iowa State winning this one. And then I've also got Connecticut beating Villanova uh, to go on to the Sweet 16. And once you get to the Sweet 16, Virginia, Michigan State, I'm like you, I think this is going to be a, uh, a great matchup here. Uh, i got Michigan State advancing in this one. And then I have Iowa State uh, defeating Connecticut uh, to go to the Elite Eight. Michigan State and Iowa State. you got Tom Izzo, who is, just seems like he has a seat uh, – set for him there at the Final Four. It seems like on a year-in, year-out basis. Um, so I, I like their chances. Iowa State's playing well, but I think Tom Enzo is a, just a, an outstanding coach, and I think he'll get the Spartans there. Upset special, Jonathan. Who do, who do you think has a chance to ups, upset somebody in this bracket? Well, obviously I'll get, I have Harvard advancing uh, past the first round um, against Cincinnati. But besides that, Providence over UNC, but – I really don't have anybody advancing too far. I do have the seven seed uh, Connecticut 
uh, Huskies and the Sweet 16. Wouldn't surprise me if they made it to the Elite Eight, but <clears throat> once you get past that, I'm really just focused on Virginia and Michigan State. I don't think anybody outside those two teams really has a chance to win this region. Uh, yeah, upset, I think. Harvard, I think, just from hearing people talk, I've not seen them play a whole lot, but just because they're a senior-laden team, I think they got a chance to upset Cincinnati. I, I've seen Providence play. Uh, if they if they uh, play well, I think they could uh, beat North Carolina, depending on which North Carolina team decides to show up and if they're hitting free throws or not. Uh, as far as dark horses, uh, I think Connecticut uh, could be a dark horse with Shabazz Napier. I think uh, he may have some Kimba Walker-like characteristics who may get them a, a long run in the tournament. But really the team I like out of this that is not a one or two, but Iowa State, I, I, I think they could have potential to get to the Final Four in Dallas. So that does us with the ace bracket. Stay tuned with us. We'll get to the other regions, and uh, we'll go from there.